Yes, For BBC, these are Uganda speaking. No, 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 no. Uganda. Oh, no. oh my name is NBS. I'm sorry. Uh, you you'll cut out the yes. Gilbert and say yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Gilbert, please get out of my mind. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, what is Okay, in, in summary, take us through your visit to the yeah. Rally Gold and We are still morning. We are still morning. Yeah. Today we have uh, concluded our two-day visit in Acholi land. We reached yesterday. We were honored to be re received by the Prime Minister, and uh, we had uh, lunch at the residence of uh, Dr. Olarotun together with uh, various elders from Acholi land. And after that, we also visited and paid a courtesy call on uh, Bishop, Archbishop John Baptist Odama. Today, after prayers at Holy Rosary Church, we paid a courtesy call on Zay uh, Okori in uh, Larugi, uh, in Omoro district, and all with him. Acholi and encourage all our people from Acholi land, from Boganda and all our parts of Uganda to keep together. We are stronger together, we are more meaningful together. We should not allow anything to divide, to divide us along political, along our tribal lines. We should reject any narrative from any politician that intends to divide us as a people. We are one and we should live as one. Let me just say one word, just say one word. First of all, I just want to say that uh, the family of Yusto Otunu, which is the uh, compound on which we are now, are so happy and honored to receive here this last two days Honorable Robert Jabulani Center. We have received him here as a friend and as a brother. Same way we had received him several times at Buddha outside Kampala. So he comes here as a friend and as a brother. I also want to thank very much the Prime Minister of Keiko Arachuli, the elders who gathered here yesterday, many elders, very distinguished elders of Arachuli, to receive and welcome him and to engage in dialogue and discussion about the future of our country. They came in solidarity, they came in unity, they came in trying to forge oneness in our country. And I want to thank very, very much Mze Okori, Nathan Okori, the father of the Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. We've just been to the lobby, we've just been to his home. We greatly appreciate him receiving us so graciously and so warmly in the spirit in which we came to see him. So all in all, I'm just so happy that these last two days have emphasized what is important for all of us. Let us not allow any cynical manipulation, huh? any contrived narratives to divide our people, whether along the lines of ethnicity, along the lines of where we worship, along the lines of which region we come from, we should say no to this. Because, as one wise person said, it takes for evil to triumph. It takes good people to be silent. Let us not be the silent people who see evil being promoted and we keep on. Thank you and Honorable, thank you for gracing us with your presence in this family home. And my sister, whose house this is, would have just, you see her smiling yeah. from on high over you all. So yeah. thank you very much. 
you are welcome anytime as a brother, as a friend. There was a elders meeting yesterday at the, uh, the late Jacob's place. Could you briefly take us to what exactly was transpired that meeting? What did they discuss in that meeting and what was the conclusion? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Yesterday, I was with the Honorable here and then meeting uh, Archbishop Adama, meeting the Prime Minister. I wasn't able myself to attend that meeting. I've heard some uh, reports about it, but I don't want to give you anything second hand. And I would like also to, to add my voice to thank each one of you, the media here present, our team from the Northern Uganda, Doctor and Ambassador Olaro Tunu Afoe Mateka Wadifo. You came as Your Excellency Robert Chagulani Sentamu. You were blessed, anointed, and given another name. And that is Honorable Lapier. So you have gone. Uh, back as a true Ugandan, a Choli accepted as an Acholi by the clan, the leaders themselves. Again, yes, thank you very much. One, 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 one message which I don't want to escape. One message which should not escape. There are still sadly some people in our midst who thrive on division, on conflict, mm. who are saying actually land, but a very, very, very small minority, is a no-go territory <coughs> for Nuke. Yeah. Mm. That Nuke and it. Honorable yeah. Robert Sheikh Chagolani should <coughs> stop the other side <coughs> of Karoma. Mm. Mm. Let, let me say categorically, and I couldn't say it more emphatically, that it, this is complete unacceptable nonsense. It is unacholi in these two days we saw the spirit of the Acholi people who reject this kind of attitude and this kind of a cynical manipulation of our people. And I'm very glad that the Honorable has seen with his own eyes, he's heard directly from a cross section of people rejecting the notion that there's some line in the sand where Ugandans can cross within Uganda. Acholi land is an equal opportunity territory for all political parties to seek their fortunes and to seek support. And this includes NUP, NRM, DP, UPC, FDC, ANT, all of them. It's an equal opportunity political territory. Thank you. Yeah, let me, let, let me emphasize that point. Uh, the point raised by Ambassador is very important. There are other people with the death of our brother Jacob Olaga. They are trying their level best to divide Uganda along the tribal line. Right now, the state has sponsored very many people to continuously fill the hearts of our people with that sense of hatred by saying, Bagandas demonstrated against Zolanya. The Bagandas, they are truly, we never support a Baganda. I think that is total nonsense. Uganda must not be divided. Right now, the regime is playing their politics of divide and rule. They are aware that, given a time, Northern Uganda unite with Central Uganda. Eastern Uganda and some part of Western Uganda, they are finished. Yes. So that is divide and rule. We need to fight that seriously as leaders. As one of the leaders from Acholi sub region, we welcome Noob and is mostly welcome. And we pray for the good Lord to help the young party take over the leadership of this country. In this world, there's there is time for everything. Many parties tried, but God may use someone that many people undermine, and God will say, go and deliver the country. You remember, God uses Dawoodi, and he killed Goliath. Yes. So, let us support. When somebody is progressing, we, we should stop unnecessary jealousy. Yes. Let us support Noob. Let us support anybody who is rising where we can see the future in that fashion.
I know by the grace of God, our people will get the light. Yes, and yes. finally, finally, right now, the discussion in this country is about the death of our brother, the right arm of Jacob Olaje. Yes. No one should divert our attention. Jacob Olanya, the father said he was poisoned. Yes. President Yuweri Museveni, on the 4th of August, observed a newspaper quoted. Museveni said he wants to probe the poisoning of the Red Arab Olanya. Yesterday, the vice chairperson, Buganda region, Subi Kiwanda, he said Olanya told him he was poisoned. Yes. Therefore, as a country, we are aware that our brother, the Red Arab Jacob Olanya, was poisoned. Government should come up clearly, investigate, and tell us who poisoned our brother. No one should divert anybody's attention. The thing of tribal thing, those are all useless and diversionary. Yes. We need to investigate and know who killed our brother. That is full stop. Thank you. Oyo ampuliriza alikoke ai mukulembeze banange munsonyo obwedda njogere ekigamba aluwa manya aluwa na yangu atwa moto na iguru na aluwa ekigambo aluwa kyagena ne chinkwa tanayinga bena thank you so much people from guru mwena mwena abategere olulimi apo yo abakola eh eh banange thank you so much the pictures are moving around robert chaglan center has met the father of jacob olanya though i have had demo kafubo kafubo uh, it has been a secret private but in a rabo daga style in rabadaba as usual robert chaglan center aba ino genda na sinka na propagandist walwo mchala yuliri ya nyo yo mchala yo yagenda na gambe bintu bye chidongo dongo mtradewo no money ziland to no pu no na take awala ina gamba billa what are you why are you like this madam why like you put line in uganda yetu ya ugandans yeah okay now uh, his excellency chaglan you know, but center has had a visit two days Though again, again, the Spanish state here, you know, zero. Right now, how can you tell me that Ate only deputy commander na propagandist? Ya vuru na gamba Ate banange to bati chagula niyariyo. Hello, why are you too much? Don't like. Uh, why do you promote uh, tribalism? Why do you promote hate? Why do you promote propagandist? Why, Ugandans? Okay, uh, kindly. Yes, the thing is. For, from all corners, from Chwanda Subi, in other in Buganda, Vice President Chairman, mm, uh, many other people, uh, the father of Jacob Oranya. Now, our brother, tag uh, me, uh, help me tag my brother in anger because those are the first suspect. If it is true that they want to arrest the people who are talking about poison, yet he, uh, the president, uh, yet Museven in, in, in 2021, in the newspaper of New Vision, somewhere, said he wants to trace all the people. <laughs> This was a just. Uh, this was really, really so embarrassing. In 2021, how can you tell that you want to trace people who are going to poison uh, Jacob Bolanya? Meaning, you also have to be uh, questioned somewhere, somehow. Uh, our brother, Buganda region, but nobody very Wow, it is nice. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, we have gathered here to say thank you. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the wonderful elders we have, like Doctor. Thank you for our anointed. Eh, network, I took.
network network yetu vuzi speed network yetu vuzi de dala speed na inge na kupela mbele keteza bana ba mami mwe pala kupela nte mogo bedele nsonga zino live from guru bsm mwe nyezi za kindly person mwe sonu wana ya ate ituwe bedele mtoma nyira mtu just have your limit because we are not paid by anyone just we do this just because of the love the struggle we need to change in our country we need justice if someone was poisoned we need justice if big people are dying we need justice na ange ngo mtu mba netaga justice not I'm not fighting anyone I'm not fighting the government but I'm just fighting for my right okay I say have a blessed day ke ayimukulembeze